This video will cover creating a title sheet and placing the title sheet map using ODOT's application to place the DGN based maps. So I'm just in a file here. I'm going to create a new file. So on my ODOT workflow, I'm going to use the create new files application and I'm just going to create my title sheet design file. So as soon as this loads up, I'm going to set my category to roadway and click off that so it's applied and I'm going to look at just roadway sheets. So with the roadway sheets filter applied, and it looks like I didn't get roadway. Let's try that again. There we go. I'm going to create um, just a title sheet and I'm using just a testing data set here. So it would be named by my PID number underscore GT. And uh, this is the first file of that type. I'm going to go ahead and create that file. And in the settings, I do have uh, open last created file turned on. So I just go ahead and check my file that I had open back into project wise. And it's opening the newly created GT file. Um, so this file is just got a sheet model and there's a boundary for my sheet. And I do need to place my sheet cell in here. So I'll use the uh, ODOT sheet cells application to place our title sheet cell. We have two dialogues here. So I'm uh, going to go to just the general sheets category and scroll down a bit and we'll find the title sheet in here. Uh, there it is. So I'll double click on that to make that active. And I'm just going to go ahead and place this at the 00, zero location. And I can go ahead and type in my information here for my PID number, um, the uh, sheet title, which in this case is actually going to be title sheet. And this will be page one of my plan, so P.1. I don't know the sheet total, and I can type in this other information if I have that. So I go ahead and just uh, issue a data point, and it's going to place that at the 00, zero location in my file. And I'm done with the place sheet cells application. So now I'm ready to place my title sheet uh, map in here. Um, so in the ODOT applications under the sheets group, uh, under title sheet, you'll see there's two different versions. I'm going to use the DGN based version. And this is using a new set of county maps that are uh, design files that have been updated recently by ODOT. And I've got a map of Ohio split into the districts and just check boxes for each county. So if I've got a project that crosses over county lines, I can just click on the counties I need and load those files in. So I have a map scale option here of one inch is one mile or one inch is two miles, just depending on uh, how, how long the project is. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit place title sheet map with Delaware and Franklin County selected. So it's going to go out and find those design files, attach them as a reference, and then just do a fit. And it's fit on uh, my sheet is down here. So that's why it's not quite zoomed in on the county maps. But I can just use my mouse wheel to zoom in and uh, find the area that I want to clip out. And you can see floating on my cursor is a block that's the size of the uh, title sheet. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick a block here in the uh, corner of the uh, counties overlapping the two counties. And what it's going to do is clip, copy and clip those elements and uh, go in automatically window in on my sheet and then place the uh, map in the appropriate location on the sheet. And you can see the uh, application uh, dialog comes back up. The counties are no longer selected. I'm just going to go ahead and close that when I'm done. So uh, the graphics are placed um, looking for an active point in the lower left corner of this. So it's looking at the sheet for an active point on a specific uh, level, weight, and color. If it finds that, it places that uh, map at that location. Um, if it doesn't find that uh, by scanning through the uh, elements of the cell, Maybe you've dropped this uh, interior portion and their individual elements no longer sell. It's still going to look for that point in the file. If it doesn't find it, then what's going to happen is you'll have a map dragging on your cursor and you can manually identify the location where to place the map. Uh, the last thing I'll mention here is the uh, graphics that are placed are placed as a graphic group. So if I needed to take those out, uh, I can use the delete element command. And in my locks, I just want to make sure I have graphic group lock turned on and it'll take uh, all these elements out as a group. Okay, so that's it for the uh, Ohio DOT County Map application, the DGN-based version. If you have any questions with this application, 
just contact the ODOT Office of CAD and Mapping Services.